Bradley Beal is one of the best players in the NBA right now, leading the league in points per game. In this video, we'll share what other NBA players think about the Wizards superstar. Number 9. John Wall The John Wall-Bradley Beal relationship has been the topic of many discussions over the eight years that the pair were teammates. Many people thought that there was bad blood between them, especially when the team wasn't doing well. But that actually couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, John Wall himself has said, There ain't no John Wall without Bradley Beal, and there ain't no Bradley Beal without John Wall. When talking about their relationship and their importance to the team, we complement each other so well on the court, I could never succeed in winning a championship without my brother Bradley Beal, added Wall, and completely silenced all the critics who said that the two stars had a bad relationship. In the end, the Wizards traded Wall after a series of injuries that kept him out of the court for two full seasons. But he and Beal remained very close friends, and that could have easily been seen during their warm interaction after the Wizards faced off against the Rockets earlier this season. After all, spending eight years of your life doing something you love with someone can't be forgotten that easily. Number 8. Kelly Oubre Coming into the league in 2015, Kelly Oubre had the opportunity to play for one of the most exciting young teams at the time in the Washington Wizards. With two up-and-coming superstars in Bradley Beal and John Wall, Oubre moved on from the Wizards in 2018, but he still has some very fond memories of his time there. In particular, he really appreciates and values the opportunity to play with and learn from two of the best guards in the league. I watched those dudes shut up all of the naysayers. They gave me the motivation to want to do the same, Oubre said of the pair during a recent interview with Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. I learned from two of the most solid individuals in the league. That was really a blessing in disguise because I really just soaked up all the knowledge I could get from them. Whether you've been watching Kelly Oubre on the Phoenix Suns or now with the Warriors, you can tell that his offensive game has taken a major leap since his early years in the league, and Bradley Beal sure has something to do with it. Number 7. Ja Morant as a young player in the league, John Morant is quickly turning heads with his performances, and Bradley Beal is one that definitely took notice. The two became friends over the last few years, and Beal was one of the first ones to wish Ja well after he suffered a nasty injury one month into the 2021 season. A few months earlier, when the NBA announced the All-NBA teams for the 1920 season, there were two notable players missing, at least according to John Morant, who tweeted, No Bradley Beal or Trey Young? He then tweeted both of their averages for the season. Beal averaged 30.5 points, 6.1 assists, and 4.2 rebounds. It's clear that Jaw values Bradley's talent more than the NBA does, at least for now. After a 60-point performance by Beal in January, Morant again took to Twitter to congratulate and praise his friend by essentially calling him a walking bucket, which is something that Beal certainly is. Number 6. Isaiah Thomas Isaiah Thomas may have been on the Wizards for just a single season, but that was still more than enough time for him to realize just how good of a player Bradley Beal is. In fact, aside from LeBron James, who is one of the greatest of all time, IT thinks that he never played with a better player than Beal before. I mean, other than playing with LeBron James, I haven't played with an all-star caliber guy like that. That's dynamic who can not just shoot at a high level, but can make plays for himself and can make plays for his teammates. Also, he plays at the other end at a high level as well. We all know how good Beal is offensively. The guy's currently leading the league in points at nearly 33 per game. But to hear a former teammate of his compliment him on his effort and dedication on the defensive end is even more impressive, because it shows just how much Beal values winning, instead of worrying about his own numbers. And after Bradley was snubbed from the All-Star game last season, IT had this to say to the media. He's playing like he has all year. Even though they didn't name him an All-Star, he's an All-Star. It's so political. NBA picks who they want, and that's just how it's always going to be. Number 5. Jalen Rose Jalen Rose had a very decent career in the NBA and is now thriving as an analyst with ESPN. He's someone who isn't scared to speak his mind, so it's interesting to hear what he said about Bradley Beal in the past. Back in the summer of 2019, when Beal signed a two-year, $72 million extension with the Wizards, Jalen said, In an era where players get so unhappy really quick when they look like they're not a contender, they want to get traded. I love those players that say, I want to craft my own path to success. That's what Bradley Beal is doing right here. He's also the only All-Star in the past two seasons that played all 82 games. You know how much I like that. In a more recent interview, Jalen added, He loves DC. And also, everybody loves being the guy. Any team in the league would want Bradley Beal. He averages 35 points. I know you can appreciate that, said Jalen to his colleague Paul Pierce. Beal has said that he modeled his game after Ray Allen, Dwayne Wade, and Allen Iverson. Watching him play, which NBA legend does Beal remind you of the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Dwayne Wade 
Dwayne Wade is someone that Bradley Beal calls his idol, and one of the players he patterned his game after. Apparently, Flash himself is a big fan of the wizard shooting guard, even naming him the most underappreciated player in the league right now on Twitter. The two shared a special moment after a Heat and Wizards game in 2019, which was Wade's final game against Beal. Brad took the chance to open up to his idol and talk about how much he meant for him growing up and in his early years in the league, and that he's the reason he chose to wear number three. Wade was incredibly humbled by those words and said, it's so cool. When he told me that, I was appreciative. Later on, when you have time to think about the impact you're able to make on younger players and be a part of their growth in any way, I'm humbled. The fan support is great, but when the young guys in the league say things like that, it really means something. I appreciate him for keeping it in all these years and telling me this now. It matters to me to be able to hear those words as my career is winding down. It's safe to say that Beal has turned an NBA legend in Wade into a fan for life with this gesture after the game. Number 3. Gilbert Arenas Since Bradley Beal is a pretty likable dude and very fun to watch on the court, we all love to see him play and score a bunch of points. One former player that isn't particularly happy about Beal scoring too many points, though, is former Wizards guard Gilbert Arenas. Arenas has one very logical but also quite selfish reason for this, and that's because he currently holds the Wizards record for most points in a single game with 60. However, he's no longer the only player in franchise history to score that many points as Bradley Beal matched him and reached the 60-point mark in an early January game in 2021. Arenas was scared that Beal would break the record and tweeted, Boy, you had me scared. Almost ruined my birthday. It's obvious that Arenas was joking and that he has a lot of respect for the new star in town. Back in 2014, he said, John Wall and Bradley Beal remind me of when me and Larry Hughes got together. If you stop one, the other one's going to shine. If we're both going, it's going to be hard to beat us that night. Number 2. Jason Tatum Despite being fierce divisional rivals, Bradley Beal and Jason Tatum are one of the closest friends you'll find in the league. Their relationship dates back from the time they were still in high school, as they both attended Chaminade College Prep. During that time, the two got very close, and Beal took on a big brother and basketball mentor role for Jason and played a major role in him becoming a star for the Boston Celtics. Nowadays, the two are still very good friends and often get together to work out during the offseason. On the NBA court, though, they like to have a little fun, we talked the whole time. That's the only time I really talk in the NBA is when I play against him. Normally, I don't say anything to anybody. But from tip-off, me and him were talking until the end of the game. It's all I dream about, playing against my big brother in the NBA. I cherish every game we get to play together. It's always special. I love competing against him. It's clear how much respect Tatum has for him with these words, and one can only dream of them possibly teaming up in the future. That would be a scary duo for sure. Number 1. Russell Westbrook Beal's new star teammate Russell Westbrook, who came in exchange for John Wall before the start of the 2021 season, is still trying to find himself in Washington and build chemistry with his new teammates. Westbrook and Beal have been friends for a long time, from seeing each other during games to playing together on Team USA. Now as they're playing on the same team, they have an opportunity to achieve something special together, and Westbrook relishes that challenge. As for me and Brad, we'll figure it out. Watch what happens and make sure I continue to push him and bring the best out of him every night. And that's what I'm trying to do. It seems like Westbrook can add some much-needed experience and leadership to the Young Wizards team, and Beal could benefit greatly from that. As far as winning's concerned, whether these two can make it happen still remains to be seen. But the good foundation is there, and if they can find a way to work well on the court, the Westbrook-Beal pairing will be very difficult to stop. What are your thoughts on Bradley Beal? Do you think he should leave the Wizards and try to compete for a championship? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more NBA content.